Love, live, life. Life can be glorious and hideous. Stick your feet to the ground, but don't think you are counted out. Don't let the wind pull you and tear you apart. Let yourself live freely and love, and you'll be happy. No limits, just to keep on. Hey guys, and welcome back to another Iron Will podcast with me, Shane Warner, and John Chase. So what this podcast is all about is we are trying to get stories from people that have been through a traumatic experience in their lives and came out a different person. Yeah, they have all created an Iron Will. So what is an Iron Will? A burning determination that cannot be stopped or hindered by anything. Willing to do anything to get a desired outcome. Extremely resilient. So what we like to say is we like to say, just keep punching. (laughs) Yeah. So sit back and relax and we're going to start the show. On today's podcast, we have Sydney Savage and Sydney is... She is a trainer for John Chase's gym, Chase Movement. That's right. And But first, I want to just go over my surgery really quick mm-hmm, and for sure. talk about that. So I only had to stay in the hospital one night. And, um, oh, that's great. I, I didn't know how long I would have to stay, but it only ended up being one night. And so they... And everything, like, has gone super well. Um, Like, I got the staples out, and I was able to get them all out before we went to Bear Lake um, on vacation. So that was awesome. Um, Mm -hmm. But it's amazing how much better I I feel. Like, um, I haven't had a headache since my surgery, and I haven't had, like, I was getting like vertigo Mm -hmm, and stuff like that. So I haven't had those symptoms and I feel like I'm walking a lot better and my arms, your arm can, you can straighten it out. And yeah. And so, um, I just want to encourage everyone that if you notice anything going wrong, like there's probably a solution, go and check it out, get it, get yourself checked out. So um, can I ask you a question? Yeah. What, How has it changed your attitude? Oh man, it's, that's like the main thing it's changed. Like Uh I, um, was going through kind of some depression. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, I don't know if anyone can notice, but I just felt like crap all the time. And, Mm -hmm. and I even like the first day after I got home, like I felt so much better and my arm was still kind of tight um and but my mindset like it's back (laughs) dude that's awesome yeah that's great so um now i want to talk to sydney about her baseball games she just went to she went to (laughs) some colorado rockies games in colorado yep i did yeah and how was that? They, they you actually were like won, their so magic sauce. Right. Yeah. <laughs> right. They yeah. actually won. They usually don't when I go. So I was fully expecting yeah. them not to win, but they surprised me both games I went to. So it was a lot of fun. A blast. I, I think mm. the only game, I think the only game they've ever won when I went to um, a Rockies game was actually in LA. Okay. And Clayton Kershaw was pitching. And wow. Charlie Blackman got a single, uh-huh. and then DJ LeMayhew mm-hmm. um, was up next, and I think he got walked. And then Nolan Arenado was right. up, and he hit a three-run home run. Yeah. You can't expect any less than that yeah. from him, right? That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. I love how I have no clue. Yeah, you have, <laughs> it's fine. I don't you know just, baseball. just agree with me and Shane. We know like, uh-huh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that guy, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Super good. <laughs> so. Yeah. That was a minute ago. Yeah. Arenado and LeMahieu. Oh, yeah, they've yeah. been gone for a minute, right? Um, yep. That was in 2017. So wow. Yeah, it's been yeah. a minute. It's yeah. been a minute. Um, yeah, they've struggled since then, oh, but, yeah. you know, 
us diehards well, will, will always be fans regardless. Right? I, That's awesome. I have a really hard time with um, Nolan Arenado getting traded. Yeah, mm-hmm. that was that was rough for me too. I was in denial and I was really sad. Yeah, <laughs> but. He's gone. We're doing eh, decent. Okay. At least we're doing better than the D bags. Yeah. That, <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. We can't. I mean, what did they lose? They lost 17 games straight. Yeah. Yeah. So we're not that bad yet. Wow. So, yeah. so losing 17 games oh, straight in baseball be is. Depressing. Oh, man. Yeah. It's, I can't imagine. <laughs> that's so bad. Right. Right. For some, I mean, they still get a check. Yeah. I you know. They still but get a check, sure. They still but get paid. It, it but doesn't. It doesn't encourage you to play your best. Yeah. You're just like, oh, no. dude, this really sucks. And no. it doesn't improve their like when they get traded because in baseball you have to you're locked up for the first six years mm. in of your contract. Um, the team can trade you, mm. but you can't request a trade or anything really? like that. Oh wow, yeah. So um, it, it's <clears throat> important to. Um, in your first six years to play your absolute best mm-hmm. because then you get paid right oh, after okay. that. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It takes so. a minute to get paid the yeah. big bucks. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So anyway, <laughs> that's a, that's cool. Little yeah. Was summer. it hot? Was it? I mean, oh, yeah. Okay. So <laughs> I was expecting to go to Colorado to escape the heat because yeah. it had been like a hundred, what, 102 yeah. here or whatever? Yeah. No, it was just as hot there oh, and man. our seats were in the sun and my son, my oldest son, he, um, he was hell bent on staying out there and watching the whole game and he wanted me to sit with him and after about 20 minutes, honestly, I was like, we have to move up, man. We yeah. have to move in the shade. It was so hot. Oh, but they won the game. It made it worth it. My kids yeah. were there. It and was that a was an awesome game. Charlie man. Blackman walk-off yeah. game. Yeah. I've always wanted to see a walk off. That's the first one I've ever yeah. seen in all the games that I've gone to, and it was amazing. And cool. to have my kids there um, with me and my husband was just that's cool. Yeah, yeah, it was awesome. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I want to just have you and John talk for a second about mm-hmm. the gym, you know, okay. and how sure. that's changed your life, you know. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, um, I know you've lost a lot of weight. Yep. Like, um, I don't know how much. Or I've lost about 40 pounds. Okay. Give or take a couple so, of, depending on the day. Well, you know, come, pounds, a little yeah. bit comes back yeah. and then you, you, <laughs> right. you, know. you get back on track and yeah, yeah about 40 So pounds. was that what made you want to be a personal trainer or? Um, no, the, the, I think the thing that made me want to be a personal trainer is just the passion that I have to help other people. Yeah. And I didn't really know how to channel that. Mm-hmm. And so I needed to find something for me, something that made me happy, mm-hmm. something that I could feel fulfilled through and help other people. Yeah. So, so I think that's what it was. So let's talk about before. Okay. Because yeah. I know your husband, Steve, had mentioned it multiple times. Like, right. hey, go to John's gym. Go right. to John's gym. Right. Like, doesn't, what really... Sorry, doesn't he yeah. work like across the... Sh- or? Oh, it's not even very far okay. from, from, a, from my gym at all. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and we've, when, you know, I've been st- uh, friends with Steve since, no, I don't know, lived, several years. Yeah. yeah several when you years. lived in, in the neighborhood. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we always kicked it off really good and everything. And I, w- I had the gym kind of running a little bit in the neighborhood. And then when I moved, I had it again mm-hmm. in that area. And then finally the bigger, the bigger gym. But uh, um, what, what really like, pushed you to finally decide to step through the doors? Um, so I have always been pretty active. I've played softball my whole life. I've always kind of gone to the gym, not super, not every single day, Mm -hmm. but I would go three or four times a week and I just was not seeing the results that I thought that I should see. And I had done home programs. I'd done beach body, which I, I Mm -hmm. really enjoyed beach body for being a stay at home mom. It was great with kids. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, and Steve decided that he wanted to do beach body with me at home. And so we had started doing beach body and competition. Competition. And you know I like competition. <laughs> so so it was great. Um he started seeing results and I didn't. And I mm. didn't know why and I didn't know if it was because of how I was eating or um if it was just the type of exercise wasn't working for me, if I wasn't getting enough, I wasn't sure. Mm-hmm. And so it was really frustrating to watch him get the results that he was getting and I was stuck. I was getting nowhere. Yeah. Yeah. And so I finally had a 
big old breakdown. <laughs> and I told Steve, I said, hey, I need you to call John. Mm -hmm. It's time. I need somebody that knows what they're doing. Um, somebody that's actually trained, somebody that can help mm -hmm. me that's there, um, that can get to know me personally and my needs. And so I had him call you, and that's when I got started yeah. with John. And yeah. with John, he, like, focuses on nutrition mm -hmm. a little bit. And yep. the main thing that I like John going to John's gym um, for mm -hmm. is my mobility. Yes. Mm -hmm. And he, he really focuses on focuses yes. on mobility and so um did you see benefits from that from the mobility yeah mm -hmm. yes absolutely um i don't know if john remembers when i first started my shoulder mobility was oh, just horrible <laughs> horrible and he's like that's it and i said yeah that's all that and my ankles i don't know mm -hmm. if you remember my ankles um but yeah so he showed me a lot of mobility exercises that helped yep. Um, help my mobile, my mobility in my shoulders and my ankles, um, my knees, everything. I've noticed a huge. You were having knee, knee, knee issues for quite a while yeah, too. Yeah. And John, you tell John that when you have an issue and he's like, I've got something yeah. for that. Mm -hmm. He knows, he yep. just knows. And yes, it's helped tremendously. Uh, yeah. And like, that's what, why, well, that's the main thing I love about mm -hmm. Chase movement is mm -hmm. he, right. like, it, it's in his name, Chase yeah. Movement. Yeah. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> imagine that. <laughs> yeah. A little yes. play on words. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Um, so, John is John's very smart in that oh, area, yeah. and he he knows his stuff when it comes to mobility. Mm -hmm. And mobility is extremely important when you're when you're trying to get healthy. So yeah, it really is. I mean, you you think about if you can't move very well at all, mm -hmm. how are you going to do the exercises exactly. that are going to give you the results, right? right? Mm -hmm. So even just in our warm ups, cool downs, all that kind of stuff, I throw in mobility stuff right. that I don't think people really truly realize that no. they're getting that much. Right. And uh, they start, once they start noticing even just in the warm ups, they're like, oh wait, now I can do a prayer squat and I now know. I can do, you know, all that kind of stuff. Right. And most of the time they're not even like, focused on it like you sure. we had some stuff that we actually focused on right um a lot of times people just see the the benefits just because i'm throwing it in there every workout oh, yeah. right right but uh let's let's talk about um so how much how much did you lose you know the the first the first time around before i'm trying to remember when i when you were like hey i want to coach i want to yeah. do i want to do this kind of stuff 40 pounds yeah is that right 40 pounds oh, 40 pounds yep that was in the first year um, yeah, with you, and, and I decided then, a little while after to become a coach. But yeah, in the first year, it was 40 pounds. That's crazy. Yeah. And the percent body fat. That, okay, it was this like, is the one, yeah, this is the one crazy. that is, that matters the most to me. I lost 15% body fat oh, in a year. Mm -hmm. So most people look at the scale. I was more interested in the body fat, and yeah. That's, yeah. that's where it yeah. mattered the most to me. For sure. Because so. she actually, when you say 40 pounds, she actually gained a lot of muscle. Yes. Yeah. Right. Too. She has the... Uh, the genetics that she can gain the muscle athletic build. Yeah. Most, yeah. um, to be honest, most women can't, yeah. Yeah. Right. um, it's a, it's more rare, mm -hmm. but, uh, which kind of gears you towards the things that you love, the heavier lifting, the deadlifts right. and the squats right. and the, you know, all that kind <laughs> right, of stuff, exactly. which just encourages more growth yeah. And, yeah, and everything. Sure, sure. But those are the ones that, that, uh, you burn the most calories yeah. and you balance your hormones better. Yeah. And all that kind of stuff. So, so with all that loss, okay, we talk about loss. What did you gain oh, well, from it? This is a tough question. <laughs> um, gain from losing weight. Mm -hmm. um, just in general. Just in general. Um, I gained a lot of confidence Good. in myself. Um, I mentally felt healthier and, mm -hmm. and stronger. Um, I was happier. Mm -hmm. I liked who I saw. My body, the, the image that I had of myself was, it was better than it yeah. had ever been. Yeah. I actually liked what I saw mm -hmm. in the mirror. Um, I felt like I could be a better mother. I could mm -hmm. keep up with my kids yeah. more. I had more energy for them. Um, and it really, I think it helped my kids see that you can love yourself. And that, yeah. that mattered a lot to me. For sure. Is that I wanted my kids, especially my daughter, mm -hmm. to love her body and see her mom yeah. love her body. Um, so it actually helped me become a better mom. Yeah. I feel yeah. Like. And that, so. for sure. that's the, like a benefit you don't really think about, but right. it's, 
Like, those are the best benefits yeah. right. of of your fitness journey mm-hmm. is right. how it affects you emotionally yep. and mentally. Yes. It yeah. really right. is. The scale, cool. You